Shopify SEO optimization tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on SEO optimization of your Shopify store. I'll show you step by step that what are the different things you need to do in order to improve the SEO of your store. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to open up your Shopify store. This is my Shopify admin here and we have a store. So I'll show you how we work on the SEO aspect of our shop so that our products rank higher in search results. So for that, we can even go to shopify.com slash help and you can see here they have actually shown us their different keywords that we need to add for SEO. We need to optimize the site structure for search engines and uh, we need to also get a domain that is SEO friendly. So the first step is going to be getting a domain for your store. Getting a domain is really important because if you have just created a store, Shopify will give you myshopify.com and your store name. But what we need to do is we can actually get SEO friendly domain names or we can actually add our domain name that we have bought. For instance, different domain names with .com, .store that will help you actually rank higher instead of myshopify.com because there are going to be a lot of stores with this domain. So for that, we can go to the settings. Within your settings, you're going to scroll down a little bit to find domains here. Okay, so now you can see Secure the perfect domain for your store that customers can trust and find easily. So any domain that customers will be able to find easily, that means that you will be getting more traffic and eventually it will help you in your SEO. So you can see this is our current domain. So if you want to buy a new domain with Shopify, you can. So click on buy new domain and here we can buy our own domain. So what you have to do is you need to find uh, good domains like .com and others. So you will enter your store name. For instance, this is my brand name. So I'm just going to quickly enter it here. All right. So now I have entered my brand name. It's showing me the .com is actually not available. So there is already a brand with this name and they have .com. Then I have .net, .org, .store, .shop and .info. I will also get the pricing here. So dot store is just nine dollars per year. Uh, this is for the first year, and then we have uh, dot shop. That one is also available. So now I know that if I go with store and shop, of course these domains have good results, and even the dot com ones. Store name is not available. Maybe you can try to change it a little bit if you still want the dot com. Then you can change it, and you can see if it's available or not. So you can see. This is how we find the right domain. So once you have the right domain for your store, of course, it will help you improve the SEO and it will help you optimize your store better. If you already have a domain, then you can connect your existing domain from this option. You can see and you'll be able to then, uh, you know, have your own brand name and you will get more traffic. The next thing is creating products and the products should be SEO friendly as well. So how we do that? For that, we have a thing called keywords. Now, keywords are actually really important. Keywords are words that people actually type in the search bar. Let's say someone wants to buy something, they'll just simply go to google.com and they will type in the words. Now, summer is coming. So let's say there is a girl and she wants to buy a summer dress. So she'll just go with the word summer dress in on Google. And now it'll show her some of the keywords here. And this is the main keyword. So if she clicks on it, it will show her all of the different links. And she will, of course, click on the link, which is the first one or the ones on the first page. So we want to target the right keywords because keywords are really important when it comes to SEO. So for that, you need to add SEO in your product descriptions. Your Shopify store description should be SEO friendly. Uh, and we can use a third party tool for that. For instance, we have tools.wordstream.com, which is a keyword research tool. There are a lot of different tools um, out there. You can go with anyone. This one is actually a free tool that we can use. So here, all you need to do is just enter the keyword. So my keyword is summer dress and I actually want to see if this is the right keyword to go for or I should go for some other words. So what we will do is we'll enter the keyword which is summer dress. This is the one that we're looking for. 
then we have industry now we can also customize our search with the industry that we have we have animals and pets apparel and fashion so this is the one where we deal in we sell clothes so I'm going to go with the apparel, fashion and jewelry and then we can also select the country. This is really good for the local SEO. So I'm going to go with United States because this is my targeted market. Click on continue. And here we have our results. So these results are actually from Google Ads. You can see. So these are the keywords showing 25 of 500 keywords. We got 500 keywords for summer dress. So the first one is summer dress. The second one is sundress, summer dresses for women, sundress, sundress for women, beach dress for wedding, sundress, summer wedding guest dress. So all of these keywords. Now we can check the monthly search volume. So this one is 368 and we have uh, this and then we have this one, 3 million, 90,000, 90,000 this one. This one is 300, 300, 90, 90. 60 so as we go down you'll be able to see the keyword you know search volume so the search volume for summer dress is the highest so now i know that this is the right keyword to go for then we have even the top of page pretty low range then we have the high range so even the high range is pretty uh you know good here up to two dollars and then the competition now competition is another thing that you should check and we have high competition for summer dress this is a high competition word actually uh, you can even find a law competition board if your store is um you know new and if you want to make a mark then you can also go with the low competition words so you can see now i know the right keywords to go for i will use the word summer dress and summer dress for women and sundress so these are the, the keywords that i'll be focusing on and the others as well so you can see the monthly search volume this is one of the important things that you need to do which is the keyword research for your products and for your shopify store you can download the keywords from here and then use them on your shopify store so now you have worked on the domain you know the keyword research then there is another thing that you can do you can also add an app to your Shopify to help you with the overall SEO and with the optimization. So for that, you can just simply go to the add apps here on your Shopify admin. Here we have our results. Scroll down to click on Shopify app store. So this is our app store where we can find a lot of different apps and softwares to integrate to our Shopify. So in the search bar at the top, I'm going to search for SEO. And here we have our results. SEO image optimizer page speed. Now, this is an important part. Uh, there are different image optimizers that help us, uh, you know, load our website faster because when a customer comes to your website and the website is not loading, that's one of the things that takes them back. So we need to create a website which is optimized. The images should be optimized. So here we have these free tools as well. Uh, SEO King, Search Pi, Smart SEO, SEO Page Speed, Image Optimization. So this one right here, you can add it. Booster SEO and Image Optimizer, SEO and Image Optimizer. Yoast SEO is actually a really good SEO platform to increase organic traffic, technical SEO, and get rich results. Um, there's SEO Ant as well, SEO and Image Optimizers, SEO Image Book Optimizers. So these are all of the different, um, uh, you know, image optimizers and SEO platforms that you can add. This one right here, Yoast is a really good um, SEO platform, but this one is not free, but you'll be getting a free trial. So once you also add an SEO optimizer to your website, then your website will be completed and you'll be able to actually, uh, you know, have a website which is SEO friendly, sell more products, uh, get organic traffic and eventually make more money. So yeah, guys, this is all about Shopify SEO optimization. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.